Good morning, everyone. We'll drive for most of the day, but an area of low pressure and a cold front are moving in, and that means rain and snow are coming back. So let's get to all the details in your weekend forecast sponsored by Nipsco. 8 a.m. this morning, nothing to worry about. Completely dry, temperatures in the mid-30s. I think it's going to be about 3 o'clock this afternoon that we're going to hit our high temperatures, and it is going to be warmer today than yesterday, but still below normal. Normal high temperatures for this time of year are in the low 50s and said we're just going to reach the mid to upper 40s this afternoon. But fortunately, not much wind during the day today. Just a light breeze gusts around 15 miles per hour, so no wind chill factor to worry about. Now, the earliest we could start to see a couple showers pop up looks like 5 o'clock, so I do have to mention the smallest of chances of encountering a light shower during the homebound commute, but the chance is small. However, things are going to be changing pretty quickly. Let's jump ahead to 8 o'clock and by this point it's scattered rain showers and by 11 o'clock looks like we are going to be covered in rain. So you might get lucky if you're just going to be out during the early evening hours tonight uh, but if you plan on staying out 10, 11, midnight, later definitely carry the umbrella with you because the rain is definitely going to be coming down. And notice temperatures in the upper 30s, but not feeling this warm. We're going to be feeling like the low 30s because it's going to be breezy tonight. Winds actually increasing. Usually we talk about the winds decreasing once the sun sets. Not tonight. The winds are going to be increased. It's going to be a breezy night with gusts 20, 25 miles per hour. All right, so now let's jump ahead to Saturday morning. We're looking at 7 a.m. And notice some gaps showing up in the rain again. We're calling it scattered rain showers. And I do think it's 7 a.m. still rain in the region still breezy but this is a low pressure system moving over us and on the back side of it we're getting a cold front so i do think there's going to be a transition to snow and right now it looks like that's going to occur around 10 a.m tomorrow morning we'll call it a rain snow mix at 10 a.m and then i do think there is going to be a period late morning early afternoon tomorrow where it is going to be all snow in the region but notice once we finally do make that transition to all snow even more gaps showing up so the best chance of rain and snow tomorrow is in the morning hours in the afternoon saturday we're just looking at isolated snow and yes i think the possibility for rain showers coming back is one o'clock temperatures mid to upper 30s but notice how we're going to see temperatures rise a little bit more in the afternoon, getting into the upper 30s, low 40s. So yes, now it's isolated rain and snow showers. But notice at 4 o'clock, lots of gaps showing up. So afternoon, definitely looking drier than the morning hours. Do have to mention, though, in the afternoon behind this cold front, I mean, these are our high temperatures tomorrow, so cooling back down. But we're talking about wind gusts. 30, 35 miles per hour. So actually feeling about 10 degrees colder than this. We're talking about feels like temperatures tomorrow afternoon, upper 20s, low 30s is what it's going to be feeling like, not feeling like spring. The good news is for Saturday night, though it's looking like a cold night, I do think all the precipitation out of here by 7 o'clock a Saturday evening. And the winds are going to be coming down very early Saturday evening. It's still going to be breezy. Uh, but the winds are only going to be decreasing. Now, how much snow? Well, I do think there could be a few spots that see up to a half an inch, a few folks seeing up to a half an inch, but most of us seeing less than that. In fact, in Newton and Jasper County, especially in the southern part of the area, some could just miss out on the snow. So, Saturday night does look dry, and though we'll probably start with mostly cloudy skies. Skies will probably eventually become mostly clear. Most of us will see low temperatures in the upper 20s right next to the lake, low 30s. And when we hit these low temperatures, very late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, there's not going to be much wind around, so no wind chill factor. And Sunday is looking like a nicer day than Saturday. Definitely the better outdoor day because it's going to be warmer and it's mostly going to be dry. In fact, in the morning, probably starting with mostly sunny skies, I do think skies will become mostly cloudy in the late afternoon. And in the late afternoon, I can't rule out a few rain showers popping up. I think the better chance is going to be Sunday night. Still looks like isolated activity, but a possibility in the late afternoon Sunday of a few rain showers. But through the early afternoon, looking dry now because winds are out of the northwest, some variation in our temperatures right next to the lake. Uh, some might only get stuck in the low 40s for highs. I think most of us 
mid to upper 40s, but Newton Jasper County probably reaching the low 50s. Fortunately, not much wind, unlike Saturday, where we see those gusts 30, 35 miles per hour. On Sunday, winds only around 10 miles per hour.